Dear students, in this video of session 4 of quantum mechanics, we shall uh, know what is the physical significance of a wave function and then let us understand what is an operator and how it is used and what are the different basic rules uh, that are followed by an operator in quantum mechanics. Myself, Dr. Ganesh Acharya, Assistant Professor, Department of Chemistry, IDSG Government College, Chikmagluru. So, we shall have a recap on the physical meaning of wave function because already we have discussed the physical significance of wave function in our last class. So, the first physical significance is the eigen function, that is a wave function, psi n and the corresponding eigenvalue of energy that is En uh, and uh, uh, describe these two values describe the quantum state of the particle that is the first point and the second point is the wave function psi doesn't have any physical meaning directly it is simply a complex quantity to represent the variation of matter wave and it connects the particle nature with its associated wave nature and as we know that psi itself doesn't have any meaning but psi into psi star or psi square is having some meaning and it is called as probability density function psi psi star dx dy dz also gives the probability of finding a particle in the region of space x and uh, x plus dx, y and y plus dy, z and z plus dz. If the particle present in that particular space, then integration of psi into psi star dx dy dz must be equal to 1 and uh, it can be considered as probability amplitude since it is used to find the location of the particle in a given space. So these are the four important points about the physical significance of wave function. Next is what is meant by normalization of a wave function. Uh, you know in quantum mechanics if you would like to find a particle in a given space say x2 x plus dx y2 y plus dy and z2 z plus dz uh, with respect to a wave function say psi of rt then according to uh, the principle of normalization integration of psi star into psi into d tau is equal to 1. So it is because the probability of finding a particle somewhere should be equal to unity so therefore integration of psi star into psi is equal to 1 or integration of psi star into psi into d tau is equal to 1 where psi star is the complex conjugate of psi okay so this condition integration of psi star psi into d tau is equal to 1 or integration of psi square into d tau is equal to 1 this is called as a condition of normalization. So for a single particle, the probability of finding a particle somewhere should be equal to 1. So therefore, we must have the condition of normalization. And similarly, for many particle wave functions also, the wave function must be normalized. The wave function must also be single value and continuous and finite. Okay, hope you understood what is meant by normalization. It is integration of minus infinity to plus infinity psi star psi d tau is equal to 1. Or integration of minus infinity to plus infinity psi square into d tau is equal to 1. Now, the next condition is orthogonality. That is a condition of orthogonality. Now, to understand this, suppose let us consider two wave functions psi a and psi b. 
and if a cap is an operator acting on these two functions when you obtain the eigen values a and b then uh, with a not equal to b integration of psi a star a cap psi b is equal to integration of psi b into a cap psi a star or in other words simply you can write integration of a star into i mean integration of psi a star into psi b is equal to 0 when a not equal to b okay so this condition that is integration of psi a star into psi b is equal to 0 when a not equal to b is called as the condition of orthogonality hope you understood what is meant by orthogonality that is a condition when integration of psi a star into psi b is equal to 0 when a not equal to b that is called as condition of orthogonality so to summarize let us consider two non-zero wave functions psi i and psi j these two functions are said to be orthogonal if their scalar product is zero that means mode of psi i into psi j is equal to zero this condition is called as condition of orthogonality similarly if you consider a wave function psi and it is said to be normalized then the scalar product of a function with itself is equal to 1 or unity that means integration of psi square into dr or d tau is equal to 1 so or in other words integration of psi star into psi into d tau is equal to 1 this is called as a condition of normalization so it is very clear now that is psi i into psi j is equal to 0 for two wave functions psi i and psi j is called as orthogonality condition then integration of psi square into d tau is equal to 1 or integration of psi star into psi into d tau is equal to 1 is called as condition of normalization. Now let us understand how the operators are used in quantum mechanics and what is meant by an operator that is used in quantum mechanics. Um, it is just like that means an operator is just like a mathematical symbol like your addition, multiplication, subtraction, integration, differentiation, etc. When it acts on a function, it gives rise to another function. So therefore, an operator is a mathematical rule or a symbol which transforms one function into another. This is a simple definition of an operator. For example, here if you take say a into psi of x is equal to d by dx of psi x. It means that the operator a is a differentiation operator acts on the function psi of x. Alright. Similarly, you know here if you consider d by dx of psi x means it is differentiation of the wave function psi x it gives some other wave function upon differentiation of psi it gives an another function so therefore d by dx that is differentiation can be called as an operator here all right so an operator is a mathematical rule or symbol which transforms one wave function into another now, according to one of the postulates of quantum mechanics, for every physical observables like energy, momentum, position, etc., there must be a mathematical operator. For example, if you want to have 
a total energy operator called as Hamiltonian operator. It is given by H that is Hamiltonian operator which is an operator corresponding to total energy of the system. You know that the total energy is a sum of kinetic energy and potential energy. Right. So therefore the operator corresponding to kinetic energy is minus h cross square by 2m into dou square by dou x square. And similarly the operator corresponding to potential energy is V of x. So therefore the total energy operator is equal to minus h cross square by 2m into dou square by dou x square plus V of x. Now it is very clear that is uh, operator is a mathematical symbol or mathematical rule which transforms one function into another. Now let us take another example. Let us take a wave function corresponding to a free particle that is psi is equal to a e power minus i by h cross into e t minus p x then dou by dou x is equal to i by h cross into p of psi. So, P cap is equal to H cross by